Hi guys. Uh, so this is weird. Another trailer has landed for the Suicide Squad. It's called the Suicide Squad, the Rebellion trailer. Um, now me and Nads watched the first trailer for this, and obviously this is the. Uh, is it a formal sequel, or it's the sequel or the follow-up movie to Suicide Squad? Uh, it's directed by James Gunn, who we know uh, left Marvel, um, has subsequently been re-employed by Marvel to make Guardians of the Galaxy 3, but in that sort of strange sabbatical went away to make a low-profile movie, this movie, for DC and Warner Brothers. Um, in the last trailer, we got all sorts of treats, like... Um, Sylvester Stallone, I didn't realise, voicing King Shark, who proceeded to eat someone almost in one go. Uh, we had John Cena with a good gag about dicks on a beach. Uh, obviously Harley Quinn. Um, Michael Rooker, is it? Michael Rooker, the guy from uh, The Walking Dead and also from Guardians of the Galaxy. A savant with this remarkable sort of long hair and sort of flowing locks. Couldn't be more contrasting with his character from Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, and uh, Idris Elba in there, giving it some shit. Peter Capaldi looking like a sort of Mekon-like sort of character with all these probes stuck into his head. A number of you guys in response to the first trailer were saying that you think so many of these characters are in there because so many of them are going to die. I mean, let's not beat around the bush. It's called the Suicide Squad. And this is essentially meant to be a team of sort of reprobates or, you know, nay-gooders, uh, nay-do-gooders, uh, who essentially go in on, pro go in on sort of uh, projects or, or operations with a view to potentially dying. Um, and so, you know, I've always been a fan of, in films like Star Wars and things like that of the characters that have the dubious morals. So, for example, Han Solo. You know, th this idea that there are people with no loyalties or split loyalties or shifting loyalties. And so I like anything that sort of converts the idea of what a hero is, like Joker... DC are quite good at this. The idea of the anti-hero, and so this is a bunch of anti-heroes becoming the heroes, so we're rooting for badness and malevolence. Uh, you know, and I think there's something really satisfying in that for us as a viewer, to be able to sort of root for the devil inside us all. It's a little bit like that, you know, in Tom and Jerry, you'd get the devil on one shoulder and you get the angel on the other. And I think films like this are a real opportunity for us to kind of just go, yeah, go on, devil. What would you do? What would you do? So, Naughty, uh, it's from the twisted and, and contorted brain of James Gunn, um, a stellar cast, and uh, I'm looking forward to watching another trailer, to be honest with you. I'm really excited about this film, so seeing as many trailers as possible for me is a good thing. So here we go, let's watch it. Super villains. Sad souls in costumes. Wanting you to think they're all dark and deep. What's it like? Living life as a punchline. But all it would take would be one blessed act of rebellion for you to restore your dignity in its entirety. You know the deal. Complete the mission, you get 10 years off your sentence. You fail to follow my orders in any way, and I detonate the explosive device in the base of your skull. Love him or hate him, these are your brothers and sisters for the next few days. Any questions? And? Yes, that is your hand. Very good. We're all gonna die. I hope so. Oh, for God's sake. Well, that's kind of our thing. What the? Looking like a bloodbath to start the day. They call you Peacemaker? I cherish peace with all my heart. I don't care how many men, women, and children I need to kill to get it. I thought you were the crazy one. I am. Whoa. Here's the deal. 
We fail the mission, you die. If we find out any information you give us is false, you die. If we find out you have personalized license plates, you die. What? No. I like the way they're using that kind of Western type poster. Kind of reminded me of um, Django Unchained, the kind of artwork for the poster. Looking good. Uh, it's obviously they're pulling, they are literally pulling their punches on that trailer. It's not the red band trailer, so it was a little bit more restrained. Um, nice to see. I forgot that Pete Davidson's in there, uh, who's, who's a great sort of addition to the pack. Uh, John Cena, he's a guilty pleasure. I absolutely love him. He's, I find him very funny with his deadpan delivery. Uh, King Shark in the background. Some of those scenes we've seen before. What about the guy with the tiddly wings flying out of him? What's he about? And the guy whose arms split apart. I mean, obviously, I'm not, I'm not that familiar with these, these, these characters. I mean, fabulously odd, sort of sp uh, special powers. And and the woman with the rats. I guess she's she called Ratty. Is the man whose arms come off? I don't know. Is he sort of armless enough um uh, tiddlywinks what's that spots uh and what about the guy with the spear i mean there's some curious there's a lot of characters in there a lot of characters in there so i think we're going to see a lot of deaths um but i'm excited about that uh i think i'll be seeing it in imax though if i'm honest i want the big effect i am looking forward to being able to sit down and watch these films on the biggest effing screen available for more film and family fun, don't forget to click the subscribe button and make sure to click the bell to never miss an update.